a little beautiful soul be seen and know I'm God. So I'd like to remind you that uh, there is no enlightenment. There are no enlightenment people. The human body is your prison. The human is your prison. There are no enlightened people. There is only enlightened activity. And this is a holographic simulation for uh, Christ. What you call uh, your higher self, Christ. This is a holographic simulation and that is your true self. Okay, and uh, I keep preparing you. God gave you a gift because you are entering here in this holographic illusion, in this uh, uh, nothingness that never existed. You are with your knees and you don't remind don't remember anything I'm here to remind you that this is a holographic simulation and uh, your only purpose in this uh, prison it's a prison it's a prison your only purpose is to to set yourself free and God makes that possible. How? With the Holy Spirit, there is a spark inside you. There is a spark, a part of you that never changed since the moment of your birth. After the separation, never changed. Since the moment of your birth, there is a presence inside you, a spark of light that hasn't changed at all. This is who you truly are. This is actually a small, a small part of uh, your greater self that you have no idea and that is far from beyond any measure and you have no idea what you are right now. But that spark, when you pay all the attention with your mind to the dimension of dynamic stillness inside you, When you pay all your attention with your mind to the dimension of dynamic stillness inside you, that's the doorway to the now, to the continuity of time, to the eternal, to where uh, it's the mind of God, to where communication is unbroken, to where communication with all your brothers didn't change at all. And this is the doorway that you can enter by paying your attention to that spark inside you, to that consciousness that you are and uh, you have to ask there from the gift of God which is uh, the Holy Spirit okay you have to ask he has he has all the memories of uh, your Christ self of yourself and uh, he will remind you everything beautiful soul maybe you are the son of God and uh, because I will to know myself, I see, I see you as the son of God and my brother. So I have to ask from the Holy Spirit and be a happy learner. You don't know anything. And that's the realization that opens the door with knowledge. That's the realization that open, opens the God to immortality. That's the realization that opens the door to redemption. That's the realization that opens the door to your resurrection. That's the realization that opens the door to, to the indestructible body, to the new, in Bible they, they, they say that new earth, but uh, it's not new earth. It's, uh, it's the timelessness, it's the eternity, it's the continuity of time, it's the original game that God created for you, not this. Uh, that you created with your fall in here okay so we have to to remind ourselves here that that's the doorway but you have to realize that you don't know anything you have to be a happy learner let the master teacher the holy spirit teach you as i teach you through through him 
let me teach you through the view because we are all one. And uh, you have to always, always decide against the part of you that think it knows, which is the ego, in their cognition that you don't know anything. And that's the door going back to life because you are choosing death. This is a veil of illusion. This, this holographic matrix never happened. And uh, your only purpose, your only purpose is uh, the end of time. Your only purpose is the end of time. The end of time and death. And uh, you have to awaken to that purpose. Or everything else is just ignorance. When you equate your purpose with the, the Holy Spirit, truth has come to you. You can never experience uh, loneliness in the mind of God. So do it. It, it, it. The gift of God just weighs your acceptance. You just have to choose there and everything is happening through you. You don't do anything. You know nothing, but everything is happening through you through the master teacher, through the gladness of the teachings of the Holy Spirit. So let him teach you. Because you don't know anything, you are lost in darkness, into the veil of illusions. You invest in this, in this world that is nothingness, that never happened. Which is your prison, which is your eternal prison. You invest in this nothingness. The only thing that is real in this world is the love and the thoughts of love that, ex that extend outwards. There is nothing, so the real value is within you, within you, and that, and that value is the Holy Spirit going to remind you. The Holy Spirit is going to remind you of that value, of the truth, of what you really are, and accept it. That's where, uh, that's how you're gonna get to, to the fifth dimension. And the fifth dimension again is the original game. The timelessness, the continuity of time, the unbroken communication between the mind of the Son and the mind of God, between the mind of you and uh, the mind of your Creator. So choose that because that's where life, that's where abundance, that's where that's where you are truly living the fullness of life, where every, where every moment is the perfect moment. Where uh, that's the natural creation, infinity is coming through you. You are always supported by the whole, by the, by the whole uh, uh, power of God, by the infinite power of God, that one small light can destroy this prison entirely, but that's not the, the purpose of this is your, your resurrection, your, your, it, it, it's to save you, to come back. Love does not attack, you have to understand, but this light is so powerful and it is within you. And the moment you accept it, you are fearless. You are fearless. The moment you accept it, you are, you are just fearless. Just accept it, you full soul. Remember, your higher self is Christ. Christ consciousness. Okay. So you have one job to do in this holographic simulation, in this prison. The first job is to awaken, to break free from the human body and from the ego. And uh, the second job is to manifest Christ in uh, this time dimension. Okay. And uh, of course, this is, uh, uh, you, you do nothing in this, you just accept the Holy Spirit. <laughs> and uh, the Holy Spirit is gonna manifest Christ in you, but you have to trust to go everywhere you are, you are everywhere you are being guided, full trust. So fear, fear, first you need to abolish every fear, every fear that this body holds. And this is happening, of course, through the Holy Spirit. 
you, you, you can't realize the power of the Holy Spirit. What you give to him that is not of God, he, he just removes it. It's, it's, you don't do anything. You just share the perception with the Holy Spirit. He brings the light, you bring the darkness, pew, pew, GG, oil plate. Okay, beautiful soul. So just do it, don't be afraid, just do it, and that's how you win big, you don't do anything, everything is, the, the, everything is done through you, you have to be humble enough to know you know nothing and uh, at the same time accept the greatness that is within you, which of course you do nothing. Everything is happening through you. You don't think you know. You know you are. And the Holy Spirit is going to teach you everything. Master, teacher, the Redeemer, your Redeemer lies within you. It is within you, waiting for your acceptance. Christ is waiting for you. <laughs> He's not moving. You're just afraid to look at the light within you, which is in the present moment, in the continuity of time. So just do it and don't be afraid to go everywhere that you are led to. Be, be a happy learner because this teacher is coming from God and uh, is the knowledge, it is the light. He can identify all your errors and at the same time perceive uh, your light and he just knows everything. He knows how to bridge you out of uh, the illusions to the truth and he's gonna teach you with gentle lessons and i like to describe the holy spirit as uh, <laughs> not as a frog that we're here right now but as uh, uh, a human body but a different human body a communication medium that communicates with the mind of god through you i'd like to describe that as your new body actually it's your new body to be honest. And that's uh, where you're gonna transform through the mind of God. That's, go that's gonna be your new body. But it's just a communication medium and it's like a camera. It's like a camera. It's like a camera in this uh, holographic simulation. So everyone who accepts the Holy Spirit, the mind of God is perceiving this reality through us. Okay. And this is all for our redemption. This is all for our redemption. This is all for the end of time, for the end of death. And you have to manifest the end of time and the end of death. How? By your acceptance and by your willingness to look at the darkness within you with no fear. Because when the light comes to you, there's nothing to be afraid of. Just accept the Holy Spirit without blocking your communication with it. And literally, he removes everything that is not of God within you, but you have to look at it. You have to look at the most darkest corners. After the acceptance of the Holy Spirit, you have to look at the most dark corners of your life, of your mind, of the ego. Abolish it. When you are ready, when you are... Uh, when you are truly ready, you are going to be able to see in death, in sickness, in disease, in destruction, and uh, you're gonna see it through the eyes of innocence, through the eyes of invulnerability. You're, you're gonna uh, look there and you're gonna be immune to that uh, because fear has been abolished from within you. And that's the only thing that uh, is gonna help you to win time and death. It's the, completely, the complete abolishment of fear by accepting the atonement of Christ through the gift of God, which is uh, the Holy Spirit, and uh, the complete abolishment, and, and uh, uh, 
realizing you don't know anything because the more you think you know, the ego is killing you. The ego is killing you. The thoughts that seem to kill are the ones that told you to, you can kill yourself. Okay, and so all of those has to be removed. Light is power and nothing else is power. Love is infinite. You, you haven't experienced true love yet, but you will soon. When, you're, when, you, when you are ready, when you accept the, the teachings of the Holy Spirit, true love is powerful. It's, the energies of true love are so blissful, so explosions, explosions. But first, you have to remove the limitations uh, that you placed upon it. You have blocked everything within you, but the gift of God, the Holy Spirit, is going to teach you everything. And He does it right now, through me. And uh, because I am. And uh, I remind you that uh, the thoughts that seem to kill taught you taught your mind that it can die. The body always follows the mind. The body does not need healing. The mind does. Whatever you perceive, you create. If, if, you, if you go in the illusions of this world, in destruction, in sickness, diseases, and uh, uh, you identify with it, you are creating the illusion, you are creating your death. So you have to realize that the only way out is in, and you have to realize at the same time that everything that dies, everything that suffers, everything that is uh, experiencing disease, every good is a reflection of the sickness which exists within your mind, and your mind needs healing. But you are not the mind, you are consciousness. You are the soul inhabiting in this body. and. You literally have to take care of that because that part is killing you and what is killing you inside you, it is the ego. Since the moment of your birth, the ego is trying to kill you, it's trying to kill you. But uh, now we are in the apocalypse, I'm uh, awakening. Now I'm going to the Father and uh, it's coming, it's coming through me. So, remember, I will to know myself, so I see you as, as the son of God and my brother, the dog agrees, remember I'm you, this is a holographic simulation for Christ, your greater self, the big self, that the Holy Spirit is going to teach you everything about it, and you have to let go of all the false gods, of all the images, of everything that the ego created and set your lives free by listening to the word of God, to the voice for God, which is the Holy Spirit. And uh, with that being said, beautiful show. Peace and glory. Peace and glory.